Guys, so in this video, I'm gonna show you the best way to start doing Shopify dropshipping, all right? This is going to increase your, your chances of succeeding, actually, because a lot of people just do it everything backwards. A lot of people even start the wrong way. They don't know what to do. So I'm gonna show you the best way and the easiest way to actually succeed doing Shopify dropshipping. So before we start, make sure you hit that little red subscribe button down below and also make sure you hit the notification bell because that's gonna help you, uh, that's gonna uh, notify you that when I upload a video, when I do so, and we're dropping crazy content, guys. Sorry for some, it lags a little bit, so I don't know what's happening with my laptop, but let's get this started. So number one, the best way to start doing dropshipping in Shopify is finding influencers. Uh, make sure you consider the order, guys, of this, all right, because it, it, the order means something. Uh, I broke in, all right, influencers, all right. This can actually be Instagram influencers, it can be YouTube influencers, all right, so let's YouTube, uh, Instagram, Facebook. Why do I say this? Because there's not just in uh, influencers on <clears throat> Instagram only. So why this first, guys? A lot of people make the mistake that they start doing drops, they set up everything, they set up their store, they pick the niche, they pick the products, and then uh, they're like, all right, let me find influencers. And that's a big mistake. That's doing it backwards. First, you have to see if there's influencers. Because if you don't, and you don't, you get with the surprise that there's no influencers, you're gonna be screwed because you're gonna have all your stores set up. You're gonna be like, how you've already paid everything, you've paid the domain. I mean, you take, took, took your time to actually build everything up, and then you, you see that there's no answer. Like, there's no influencers, right? You don't wanna do that. So, I'll suggest you get into probably, uh, five to seven influencers. If you can actually find five to seven influencers that really have high quality uh, engagement and really have the real followers and someone you can get your traffic source from, then that's gonna be great because then you're gonna be like, all right, once I build my store, I know then I can go to those influencers and actually contact them and pay them a shout out. Actually trick that you can actually do to secure yourself and really lower the risk is actually talk to them So and, and don't start uh, until they actually you can actually prove that you they can actually give you shout out because sometimes there's there's Instagram influencers But they simply just don't want to do shout outs I mean that's not the best way because eventually you're gonna find an Instagram influencers that will want to do a shout out for you And a paid promotion, but sometimes when you start doing drops it gets harder So make sure you actually can find Instagram influencers or YouTube influencers sometimes that's a great way So let's what that's so that's why I'm gonna show you that's why I'm telling you the first thing you need to do all right so then, know your audience. <clears throat> audience. All right, you can actually use the Facebook Insights tool. If you don't know what it is, Google it, YouTube it. I mean, super easy. It's a, it's a, it's a, you know, it's a tool from Facebook. It really lets you put any interest. For example, if I put dogs, you know, what people like, what are the ages, how are they, their demographics, for you know, and that's gonna help you a lot. Not only to target, but also it's gonna help you know what they like. <clears throat> and also a way to actually know what they like and what how to start because you really need to get in people's mind in your audience's shoes, right? You have to have empathy with them. It's really go on Facebook group maybe or talk to them in any way. See how they actually like, see what they like because you're going to be able to know how to actually build your store and around what to build your store. What do they like, all right? So that's super important to you. If you know your audience, you're going to know how to actually target them and how to sell them, which is the most important thing because you actually want to make money, right? So you need to sell them. So know your audience before you start, all right? Know your audience and know if they're gonna be able to buy. That's an important thing. <clears throat> don't, the be, also best way, don't start until you have everything set up. <clears throat> all right, I'm gonna explain this a little bit. I don't mean it has to be perfect, but what I mean with this, don't start your Shopify store, all right? So what I mean this is take advantage of your free trial. So I see a lot of people starting their free trial and then they figure out like, what am I gonna choose, what products, what niche. Don't do that, do it. First, find a niche. First see the products, then see the influencers, and then eventually you can actually start your Shopify store. I mean, you can even start another one. I'm gonna actually leave a 14 day free trial down below if you really know your niche. If you don't, I'm also gonna help you out. If you, for example, I have a, a, a course, and if you get my course, I actually brainstorm with my students. I'm gonna have increased success students on my course so if you want to join always plug it's going to be the first link on the description all right guys so what i want to tell you is that set up everything up so you can actually then go to your store and get the products and everything don't waste your free trial guys i mean you can actually open a second store but don't you're, you're going to waste time right so 
First, have everything clear. Have the influencers clear, have the product clear. I mean, have, you already know, you have the structure, right? And then when you actually start your free trial, you're gonna be able to set everything up and then you're not gonna be able like, all right, now I'm, let's wait 10 more days till I start. So that's another tip I'm gonna give you to, and this is the best way to start Shopify, all right? And then the last, <clears throat> no, fourth one, I'm gonna do five, all right? Don't waste time on, this is gonna be on capital letters, stupid things, all right? <clears throat> Super important. The best way to start is not to think or focus on stupid things. I see so many people like, all right, I'm, an, I'm not starting a Shopify store because I can't figure out the name. Uh, I don't know what's the favorite, the best color. I don't know the name of my brand. I can't, I can't figure the domain name. Uh, super bad. And they don't start and they don't really start running ads, for example, because they think they don't have the perfect site. I mean, your site can, just simply can't look scammy. So if you want me to review your store also, leave your store down below. I eventually, once a week, once a month, no, once every two weeks, I review people's stores. I review my subscribers' stores. And if you want me to review your store, also make sure you're subscribed because if you're not subscribed, I'm not gonna choose your store, all right? So if you do, if you do that, then uh, you don't have to be perfect because once you actually start running ads, I really like people that start running and Facebook shout out, I'm mean, sorry, Instagram shout outs as soon as possible because that's gonna give you feedback. You're gonna know, all right, what's not converting, maybe the problem, the ads are the problem or anything. You're gonna actually be able to make changes. Don't wait to actually for everything to be perfect, although you need to know that your site can't look like a scam, right? That's super important. So don't waste time on stupid things, which can be actually the name, the domain, the theme, even the site, all right? Some people just, I, I even started my first store without a theme, I used the basic, super minimalistic, but super organized and it looked professional, always high quality pictures. So that's super important. The only things you have to worry about your stores that it looks professional because of the quality, high quality pictures, HD pictures, that you have the shipping, the FAQ. I have templates on my course, course always plug. Uh, so it's a mentorship program, guys. Uh, you don't, like, you have to worry that you have the uh, shipping, the, uh, the frequent asked questions. I mean, it looks professional. You have high quality pictures, everything is organized in categories. You don't want to confuse the audience, all right? Never want, you don't, you never want your store to be confusing, right? And that's the fourth, I'm going to show you the five thing, the fifth thing, all right? And which is the most important sometimes, guys. Start. Some people just want to wait for the perfect time to start doing drop, Shopify drop shipping. I'm going to give you an advice. If you don't start right now, you're going to regret it. So, guys, I really think Shopify drop shipping, I know it's a great opportunity to make online money. So if you really want to start entrepreneurship, Shopify is the best way you can do it. Why? Because right now, it's it's like not too many, not everyone knows about it, and it doesn't matter. Some people say, is it gonna die? Is it gonna go down? No, because it's a platform. It's not like Amazon where you know it's Amazon. I mean, it's just a platform that you use to do a business model, which is Shopify dropshipping. Also, tip like you know, I'm gonna uh, drop a tip right now. Don't treat your store like a short-term uh, business or even like a dropshipping business. Treat it like your actual brand, like it's actually your store, and you really wanna grow it. Treat it, it's, it's actually a store, it's just a business model. I mean, you can actually be doing the exact same thing, but instead of doing dropshipping, selling your own products, and it's the exactly same thing. Instead, you're using this model, which is called dropshipping, in which you don't have any inventory. And that's beautiful, because you really need like a, lo a super lower uh, upfront cost, and also stock cost compared to, for example, Amazon FBA. So that's my tip for you guys. So that's the best way. If you like the video, make sure you subscribe. You click that notification bell. Also leave a thumbs up. I appreciate it so much. And also drop a comment down below and tell me what you thought and also ideas for future videos. Uh, and maybe also a question and leave your story if you want to review it. Thank you so much for watching guys. I appreciate it. I'll see you on the next video. Make sure you also check out the first thing on the description. Thank you so much. Bye bye guys.